While scientists at NASA continue to study melting glaciers in both Greenland and Antarctica, they're also working to translate the threat to individual communities, including here in the Bay Area. Our Spencer Christian is back with the details. Spencer. Okay, Julian and Kristen. Of course, the core danger for us is sea level rise, and better understanding the relationship between tides and the melting ice could be critical for our planning our future. What? Researchers from the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena are busy studying melting glaciers from sea level to space. And liftoff of Sentinel-6, Michael Freilich. And now, with the help of newly launched satellites, they're providing some of the most precise measurements ever of changes in both the rising height of the world's oceans and the shrinking ice sheets themselves. Nicole Schlegel is a glaciologist on NASA JPL's ice sheet monitoring team. There is ways to measure gravity, so you can actually see the mass of the ice through how much gravity it has, which is an amazing and astounding way to look at the ice sheets. She says measuring the surface height of the ice can also tell researchers if the sheet is losing mass. In a recently released study of Greenland and Antarctica, the team found that the melting increased five-fold over roughly the last 30 years. And together they're contributing um, more than 25% of all the sea level contribution that's happening. And with its increasing ability to measure both glacier melt and sea level rise, NASA is hoping to more accurately predict what's ahead. Ben Hamlington leads NASA JPL's sea level change team. The group helped develop an interactive mapping tool available to the public. It not only projects potential sea level rise, but its effects on a local community. With this tool, you can take the information about long-term sea level rise that we know is happening because of climate change and connect that to the number of high tide flood days you expect to see in the future at any particular location along the coast. For San Francisco, in roughly 30 years, that could translate to dozens of potential flooding events per year. David Lewis is with the environmental group Save the Bay and sees the data as both an opportunity and a wake-up call. Until cities and counties are actually using this data and required to plan for sea level rise, the risk will keep growing. While projections could change, NASA says one of the key goals is to provide local communities with planning tools to ensure the data can help inform key decisions and possibly help better prepare coastal communities and regions like the Bay Area for the challenges ahead. Now, if you'd like to check out the NASA Sea Level Rise tool for yourself, we have links at abc7news.com.